About a month ago, I did a video exploring the Stone Island and Dior capsule that was set to release later on this summer. Well, the time came and went, and recently this collection was actually released. To my surprise, I forgot it even was coming out. But today, guys, let's go take a look at what's actually available to purchase from the Dior and Stone Island collection. We're going to look through every single item from cheapest to most expensive, and you're going to be surprised how much this stuff actually costs. Let's jump right into it. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys to please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you get up to date every single time I post and go live on our way to 3,000 subscribers. Hoping to hit that before Supreme Fall Winter 2024. Stay tuned for weekly live streams. We did one yesterday talking about Supreme getting sold to VF Corp and ranking all of the Pharrell Williams, Louis Vuitton, Timberlands, which was a lot of fun. Come out next week, we'll talk about something else in the streetwear world. All right, so here we are on Dior's website. Kind of a wide, interesting site, but the price when we click on the item should be right about here next to my head. So there we go. Let's just start going through these items. We have the Dior and Stone Island belt buckle for $340. This is your cheapest item, palladium brass finish. I mean, it's one size right there. Looks pretty cool. We don't have much time to look through all the descriptions, but you can buy this in store and get it as soon as July 30th. 20th, which is tomorrow. Next up, we have a key ring, which takes the price all the way up to $450 available in these two colors. We have yellow enamel and gray enamel, and then also blue enamel. So there's three colors. That's amazing. This is just the start of this collection, letting you know there are plenty of other items that will make this seem like a steal. So if you want to get yourself into the Stone Island Dior collection, this might be your starting point or the belt buckle. Actually, one of the items I could see myself rocking would be this Dior Stone Island Sig ring. Now, I know I don't have to say Dior and Stone Island every single time, but I'm definitely going to do it a lot more. So just getting ready for that. And also we are wearing the Stone Island Supreme bucket hat right here. Figured I had to throw on my only Stone Island piece, but small, medium, large for the signet ring. This thing is actually pretty cool. Made from silver and the stone is just black resin. It's not an actual gemstone, which I guess makes sense. That'd probably be a lot more expensive if it was onyx or something 470 dollars for designer ring that's actually not terrible for some nice jewelry now speaking of jewelry we have this stone island bracelet up next same exact design with the silver and resin this will run you 530 dollars just a little bit more expensive than the ring and if that wasn't enough for you you can take it up a notch with the brooch 530 dollars actually the same price as the bracelet i think a brooch is interesting to say the least i have never thought man i'm really struggling to find my brooches you know i'm more so looking for my bro chiz you know what i'm saying my bro his name is chiz um i don't know that's a bad joke. Next up, we got a nice little scarf. They call it a stole, which is made of gray cotton, wool, silk, and cashmere. Looking very clean, $550 styled by this Asian man right here. And look at that, D-I-O as the Stone Island logo R for Dior, very cool. All right, boys, $690, nice. The penance necklace, similar theme to all the other jewelry items we've seen so far with the silver, black resin, Dior, Stone Island Compass logo. Very iconic, very cool. We like this piece around here. And just like that, we're on the first clothing item of the list being the baseball cap, jumping $100 from the necklace, which is absolutely insane. I'm going to say that a lot this video, but I really mean it. Light green, tactical cotton, or technical, beige technical cotton. You have small, medium, largest sold out in black. I mean, this is really a collab for upper echelon consumers. This is for the very wealthy buyers, the rich overseas exchange students at your local university. But it is very cool. I mean, the materials look great. They better be when you're paying $800 for a baseball cap, 65% cotton, 35% polyurethane. The lining is 53% silk, 47% cotton. I mean, that better be the most comfortable hat of all time. Maybe guys, someday on this channel, we can buy some of these insane fashion items and actually give them a review or do something silly in them like going to a baseball game in a dior baseball cap i don't know that's a stupid idea but just a thought fuck it dude oversized t-shirt a thousand dollars the prices on this collab they just don't make any sense i could see it being 500 i remember looking at givenchy tees back in the day and being like damn 
Those are expensive, but those are cool. I'm having a hard time with this one. You know, 100% cotton made in Italy, oversized, Stone Island's iconic style. And I guess this is what happens when you get two of these higher level brands into collaboration together, because I kind of misunderstood Stone Island for a while. I thought they were more of streetwear. They're not really streetwear. They're kind of their own little fashion house themselves. And then Dior is obviously a gigantic name in the luxury high fashion industry so of course they're going to sell shirts for one thousand dollars you got a couple colorways right here the blue the brown and the red all for one thousand bucks insane but kind of cool i have to resize the page a little bit for this one but these goggles sunglasses whatever you want to call them are my favorite item of this entire collab. I want to find a non-collab version of these someday, maybe vintage, but you look like a cross between a World War II fighter pilot and a mad scientist from some kind of cyberpunk novel. Absolutely crazy. The Dior Nautical M1U sold out online, $1,050. Get it while it's hot, boys. It looks like it's already gone though. This guy's my favorite. And $1,000 for luxury sunglasses, while that is very expensive, it isn't what some of the other items on this list are, we'll say. Next up, we got some sneakers. The B30 Dior and Stone Islands are costing you a measly $1,400 available in multiple different colors. You can see light green, yellow, red. They're keeping the colors consistent so you can match your whole outfit it, which is pretty cool if you have the money i'm sure these sneakers make you feel like a million bucks at least 1400 bucks you would hope but not too crazy they're pretty low key and i think a sneaker like this should age pretty well it looks like it does have some kind of stone island or dior branding with the c and the d i'm not sure exactly what the c stands for but the b30 right there kind of looks like a high fashion pair of new balances to be honest and the lace swap right there is absolutely disgusting we'll move past that another pair of sneakers right here pretty much the same thing these are the b87s and they're pretty similar just they have different color blocking a little bit more of an air force one like sneaker jordan basketball shoe midsole as opposed to new balance runner-esque version but still pretty similar looking at design in terms of the sneakers i think i would probably go with the b30s if i had to pick one these are the same price and i do also like the rope laces a little bit more on the b30s as opposed to the b37s all right our first long sleeve apparel item with the sweater simply called the sweater for 1550 dollars boys we are here hanging with the big fish and it's scary it's a little bit scary, but you have to buckle down, take a deep breath. It's not meant for all of us and that's okay, right? We can still look at this stuff and kind of say, hey, what do I like about this? What makes this high fashion stuff so iconic? And a lot of times it comes down to the fits, the materials, and then of course the establishment of their brand and the fact that Dior has been around for so long. They feel that they can provide these prices to their customers to kind of suit their style. And the difference I think in, in a lot of these high fashion brands is they're usually telling some sort of a story. They're putting on some sort of a artistic performance to kind of exaggerate it a little bit with their pieces. They all fit a theme. Stone Island has that military look to it. And I think that Dior really just takes that up a notch a bit and just goes and creates all these pieces that just really work well together, right? I think all these look super clean. We can go to the next one. The oversized fit sweater looks very similar. This guy, pretty damn cool. Blue cotton fleece. I think the cut on this is amazing. The stitching looks really good. Let's see, you got size and fit. Very in-depth sizing right there. Get delivery and returns. Free returns within 30 days, which that's pretty nice for a $1,500 sweater. Love the ribbed cuffs, all the detail work. Available in a number of different colors. Next up, the overshirt. Now this is something that I'd be looking to cop. A nice Oxford for what? 1,900 bucks. Who's counting at this point? And also all this stuff, guys, you have to imagine it's being made for the people that have the money and want to show that they can afford to buy the Dior Stone Island stuff. It's for those folks. Like, is it that much better than something made of the similar materials, but not the high-end brand? Of course not. But we all know the reason why people buy this stuff it's because they can it's because maybe they like the way it looks but usually it's because it is that highest level of fashion this is the pinnacle of what you can do with an overshirt more or less i'm sure you could go further you could go crazier but in terms of 
keeping it relatively consistent with modern styling, not going avant-garde and like high luxury runway stuff. This is a extremely nice overshirt and Dior's like, fuck it, 1900 bucks. Loose fit pants are next. Just some regular old trousers made of a cotton blend and a satin. $1950. Nice little outfit right there. I can actually dig that a lot. These look really tall in this picture, but I'm sure they look pretty normal in person. Love all the materials, the Dior stitching, the metallic buttons. If you guys watched my video where Asmund Gold and I reacted to this video on Reddit about why your clothes suck today, there's one thing that this collab will definitely not have, and that is cheap materials, fast fashion, and any kind of corners being cut. Because these Bermuda shorts, you can best believe they're worth every penny of that $2,600. That's a slight exaggeration, of course, but what I am saying is at least these materials are premium. At least they're going above and beyond and providing this higher level customer with the ultimate experience for some Bermuda shorts that you would hope would last a lifetime at this price point. Pretty cool. I like the little badge down there on the leg. Here we go with the jacket also for 2,600 bucks. I love that. Got a leather pouch. Very cool pocket design and contrasting materials on that left breast pocket. Super dope. Let's look at the materials made. This outfit might be one of my favorites so far. This piece is super cool. Very unique. I love the Dior Stone Island branding on it. The materials, the denim, it looks really good or the cotton canvas, I suppose. Let's see with that pocket. Buttoned flat pouch. Leather chest pouch, there it is. Or leather chest pocket, very interesting. I hope that would be lined with something on the inside so it wouldn't get so sweaty. Also have it in this colorway as well, the darker one and the lighter one. All right, to complete the fit, we got the cargo jeans to match the jacket. Very similar with the leather pocket, super dope. Nice pair of cargo jeans with the hammer loop boys let's go w's in the chat for the hammer loop we got the sliding into first special right here with the loose fit sportswear pants with the little knee guards on them these are kind of interesting double knee question mark i don't know gray cotton blend satin three thousand dollars for these bad boys some chump change for your damn sportswear pants what sports are you guys playing in these pair of pants let me know the vest is next also a measly three grand Available in a couple colors, I see this light aqua blue. We also have the red cotton. Oh yes, baby. Match it with your Bermuda shorts. Nice buckle right there going fishing with your rich buddies on a yacht somewhere nice. I'm sure it's great. And then we got the Stone Island and Dior sweatshirt. Fuck it, $3,600. Here we are, guys. Now think back, how does that $400 keychain sound now? It sounds pretty appealing, doesn't it, when you compare it? Is in comparison a bitch? Just crazy. This guy's pretty cool, kind of basic just because it's black. I'm sure it's very cool in person, but I can't really make out all the details. Kind of a turtleneck with a zip up. It's got an interesting little design here. Signature pouch, print hidden on the interior. We've got the Dior print on the interior. Probably wouldn't go for this guy just compared to all the other items. Seems pretty generic. All right, we're getting into the dope stuff now. Let's go with the limited and numbered edition round bag. Boys, 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 $3,700. You got a blue one so far, a gray one, and a yellow one, it looks like. These are pretty cool. For a daily carry men's purse, I would be super down for this guy. I mean, I think the yellow one is super sick, but I'd probably grab the this one right here, the kind of military colorway. Yeah, I don't know how big this actually is, what all you could fit in there but i don't give a fuck the stone island logo with the dior looks super cool looks very usable but 3700 dollars that is a lot but it's even cheaper than the saddlebag right here which looks like a gun i mean let's be honest here this thing's the blicky holder pretty much looks relatively cool i don't know how you would wear this and the strap looks like something you'd find on an airplane very interesting dior pattern Nice silver materials. Please keep your seatbelt buckled. We're experiencing some turbulence right now. The bomber jacket is next. Fuck it. $4,600. This guy, pretty damn cool. I love a good bomber jacket styled with two zippers so you can remove the bottom part of your jacket as you please. Also available in brown here. I'm thinking brown looks just a little bit better. For some reason, I'm just liking the military look to it. Some nice patches there on the back, some stitch work. All the details and all this stuff is really good. And then we got the jacket for a whopping $6,200, folks. Double leather 
pockets. You love to see that. Very cool cotton blend. Looks almost like a rain jacket, kind of like a big trench. We got cannage badge on the left sleeve. Is that what these are called? The cannage badge? Leather straps on the collar, embroidered leather elbow panels. Yeah cotton and polyurethane also available in the curious george yellow look at this thing absolutely mental those elbows damn son look at those bows wow and just like that folks two more items to look at we got the blue son jacket right here this looks like a zip up cashmere sweater to me i don't know what makes this thing so dang expensive and why it's more expensive than that jacket but it has to be the materials or something because this guy just seems totally out of place in my opinion again i don't know much about blueson jackets i guess maybe it has this on the interior i suppose it's kind of also a vest they're so getting some two-in-one action there don't know why this is part of it let's see showcases this collab signature the star cannage badge has her movable cannage vest casual fit and zip closure 67% viscose, 33% wool. That must be for the vest, maybe? Made in Italy. Oh, guys, it's crafted in a heavy gauge knit. So, of course, $6,700. You can also get it in red. Very cool. And last but not least, the creme de la creme, the top of the pyramid, top of the food chain for $8,300. We have the Dior and Stone Island lambskin jacket. Apologize for not blowing up every item this big, but here we are with the last one. You can see the fit right here looks extremely clean. Almost $10,000, but not quite. $8,300, you get your lambskin leather. Really dope details on this. Elbows, you have some themes from the other pieces. All leather though. Pulled out all the stops. Dior and Stone Island said, let's go. Part of the paint. Really nice stitch work there. And overall, just a really incredible piece that I don't know if it warrants 8,300 bucks, but hey, it is very nice. Look at some of the details here. A timeless piece. I definitely could see this being a timeless piece for sure. 100% lambskin and lining, 63% silk and 37% polyamide 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 i don't know but it's available in every size but 52 and 56 and 58 so some people have already bought this and sold it out that's crazy so what do you guys think of the dior and stone island collection in my opinion it's a super sick collection to look at and maybe fantasize about getting to that level one day in fashion but of course you know i'm not there yet in my own personal journey of just trying to afford the next month's rent and keeping up with the latest Supreme season, but I still do think it's really cool to see two behemoths like Stone Island and Dior come together and craft this really unique and interesting collection for their high level clientele base. I think it did a great job of keeping a consistent theme of like a half military mixed with modern, wealthy, waspy, casual. I don't know what you would really theme this collection after, but it certainly does all fit together. In my opinion, it works super well. It's a captivating, intensive exchange, according to their website. The magical tones infuse all the creations. The fabrics are transformed, eliminated by dazzling hues. Yes, Kim Jones is quite the alchemist and that's going to do it for today, guys. So hope you all enjoyed. Like the video if you did. Comment if you liked. And I'll see you guys the next one. Peace and Bucky's. Yeah.